we're back. All right, so I've done a little bit of research. Given my day is a little slow, so I haven't done, you know, 100% of the research. But I'm on PETA.org here, okay? If anyone has been following. <laughs> we're talking some... about, yeah, bestiality. We were talking about uh, PETA's stance on uh, bestiality because, you know, one end of the spectrum, loving an animal. The other end is you're loving it with all the wrong parts. Yeah, okay. And no, no parts. So. Your penis. Here is PETA's official stance on bestiality. Consensual sex is between two human beings who enter into it willingly. And that is never the case when an animal is dominated by a human. See the careful language there? Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> it means if a dog tries to fuck you and you just lay there. That's the that's nothing. It literally says when an am- am- animal is dominated by a human. So if you if your dog's just really horny, yeah. And you just and you just happen to be, you know, and your v- v- vagina or butthole just happens to be there. That's not a bad <laughs> thing. I'm dying. They do go on to say, like, having sex with an animal is raping that animal. Something PETA has found in numerals eyewitness exposés. I don't like PETA. I'm an animal rights person. Uh, I don't like PETA. PETA's Ah. fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm on your side with this one. Like, PETA literally just does, like, publicity stunts to do shit. Mm -hmm. Like, remember when fucking Obama was, like, first elected? And he fucking did that ninja swat and, like, swat the fly out of the air? Do you remember that? Yeah. Historically, in my mind, I will never forget a person killing a fly. It had to have been pretty badass. PETA sent him a humane fly-catching equipment set up. They do weird shit like that just to get, like, the fucking publicity. That's why no one knows any other organization. They just know PETA because they're fucking crazy. But while looking this up, I found a website called Vegansaurus. And I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not going to look into it right now. Uh, real fast, can I make Yeah, it? go on. Uh, I will give them some credibility, though, because they... They are, like, one of the only uh, activists that do not fall very short from terrorism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see that. Um, but, yeah, this site called Vegansaurus, right? Uh, I've, got a, I've got it loaded up, and they have a, a list at the bottom of all their friends. Like, you know, sometimes websites have, like, a list of people they're associated with oh, at the bottom. And I thought I would uh, just read off a couple of them real quick. Crazy Sexy Life. Choosing Raw. Vegan Crunk. uh, Check Vegan. (laughs) C-Z-E-C-H. Stump Town Vegans. Cineholic. Like Cinnamon. Cineholic. God damn it. Vegetable Diaries, which still just reminds me of Vampire Diaries. Are you about to say something else like Viagra Diaries? (laughs) I was going to say, like, (laughs) talk about bestiality, Viagra Diaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a line to be drawn there. (laughs) Vegan dinner for one. (laughs) (laughs) The loneliest dinner. That is the saddest thing. Like, imagine just cookbooks out there, just like, dinner for one. (laughs) How to make food for yourself. Bjorked off. Bjork. Bjork. Uh, Hi, Bjork. I'm Bjork. Bjork eats well with others. Uh, cake maker to the stars. Such a vegan. <laughs> Cackleberry. Simple, straight to the point. Cackleberry. Cackleberry. All right. Vegan dance machine. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore herbivore. Love it. Potentially nervous. The vegan lush. <laughs> vegan spam. Veganize it. Don't criticize it. Marty's Flying Vegan Review. I love Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, God. Vivid Vegan Ventures. Vegan at large. Vegan Eating Out. And then just Busty Vegan Mama. <laughs> Herbivore Whore. <laughs> Bonsai Aphrodite. <laughs> it ain't meat, babe. <laughs> vegan Analysis. God, they, I oh, thought they for got a another second... I thought for just a second we were watching uh, Zach and Mary make a porno. Right? Queer vegan food is like the last one, too. 
these all just sound like weird like either band names or porn names and i haven't figured out <laughs> we are herbivore whore <laughs> <laughs> herbivore whore herbivore whore <laughs> oh t tomorrow is like the class hike should i prepare anything we won't be going far so i don't have to I, look man i just um <laughs> herbivore whore herbivore whore really herbivore whore god <laughs> That's gonna be a new insult. You fucking cucumber fucker. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue really well. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so it's safe to say that PETA is not completely for right, okay. uh, intercourse with animals. No, no, no. We should, we should clarify. PETA is not for sex with animals. But it ain't fucking against it. Not 100%. There's, it's like yeah, because there's some passion there, so they gotta be for it. I, okay, so there was an article, and I can't load it up, presumably because it's been deleted. <laughs> <laughs> cover our tracks, cover our tracks. I did find an article that says something like it equated things like up to the point of like uh, horseback riding to bestiality. What? Yeah, and it wasn't against it. There's some weird shit that's on fucking PETA. Okay, so is PETA just, like, the type of people who just show up to, like, horse races and just, like, stand in the line? Like, yes! No further shall you go. Yes! They fucking Tiananmen Square for no fucking reason. God, those people. Anyway. <sighs> I can just imagine her showing up tomorrow with just sticks in her hair. And just fucking... <laughs> She's... This is the child version of the chick from Home Alone. <laughs> I wonder what she looks like. Just like, fucking read this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Was that a knock at my non-door? <laughs> Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... I think she literally just looks like she's dressed up as a bird all the time. And no one talks to her anymore. Nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> Who do we talk to? Uh, San. Uh, I know you want to talk to San. Kind of? Look, man, if I'm going to fuck anyone, I want to fuck San. <laughs> talk to San. Talk to San. Do you want to talk to San? Talk to San. Do you want to talk to San? You're talking to San. All right. I wonder where Okasan went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Ah, cool, cool, cool. It's not here. The person's not here. Ah, it's missing. Did you eat it for lunch? <laughs> cool. Okasan, believe the wonderful pudding could be found in hikes. Is there some kind of pudding that lives in the mountain? Cool! cool. Well, I'll search elsewhere for the pudding. And he's gone. That was a fun talk. What kind of pudding is he looking for, anyway? You know, there is, like, a deep mystery here. And this is slowly, slowly changed from a dating simulator to a mystery. What pudding oh, is he looking for? What pudding is he looking for? Do we... You want to go to music? I bet it's a music class. All right, let's look for music. No, we're looking for pudding. No, okay. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. God, but this is what Mozart is all about, I guess. Did it say most tart? That's not how Mozart is spelled, right? I don't think so. I don't think it is. So much thinking outside the box. I love it. I wonder what those wings feel like. Wigs. Like. Wigs. Oh, sorry. I'm getting way too ahead of myself here. No, you're being idiot. Idiot. Uh, no. I am just using my using my PETA activist rights to have sex with a pigeon. Undisclosed sex. Have you ever heard that song by Garfunkel and Oates? No. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing... Ptarmigans. Where? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the word. I just know the word. On their heads. Do you seek to mock the great masters, low-born Philistine? I fucking hate you. What? Am 
my tail feathers are hey. all ruffled. You got feathers plus five. I now have ten feathers. I am slowly becoming a bird. She's just like picking them off the other bird. I earned this. <laughs> er, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. I will fuck you up! <laughs> <laughs> what do you not fucking to do, talk Yoda? to me? Okay, I'm sorry. I haven't decided, but probably a three-legged race. Somebody has to. I'm so Laugh at my fucking joke. <laughs> hey, your favorite kind. Of <laughs> 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 I don't know how to will. What do you say? What do you can't. Yes, I oh. can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sports festival. Is there an event that, <laughs> that does it involve running? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> how about being a cheerleader? Uh huh. Uh huh. The general and other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this thing. Um, I don't think that's. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. Uh, thank you. That's all for today. Why did things just go from 5 of 6 to 5 of 16? Uh, cause you're skipping some stuff. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Oh, he was a cheerleader. That's funny. Yuya! My... Be running the first what should I, I have to think about it? <clears throat> what was Okasan doing today? Uh, San is the bird. Uh-huh. Running. We're doing that. Forever. <laughs> We're doing that. I like how it's a dating simulator and you're doing everything with humor. <laughs> we uh huh. Are... Uh -huh. Library. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I would be doing. <laughs> I wonder what's in the library. No, creepy guy's in the library. Yeah, I don't like him. Marathon. marathon. <laughs> cool. You're running the marathon too, Tom? <laughs> yep, so. Ah, good luck. Cuckoo, never worry, never fear. Oksan brings up the rear. Swift as the wind, as usual. I think he came in first, but I can't see him from here. Ho! Oh, I better do my best too. Ho oh, oh, ho! Oh. I like the NASCAR race noises. They... <laughs> I like it too. The first barrier for all students who make it this far. We the are flying. Term exam. We are flying. And I still don't have a boyfriend. No. We're getting them back today. I don't think I did too well. Huh? Yes. Uh, I don't think you did too badly. Uh, yes? Not too... No, no. You... You <laughs> fucking failed. No. <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? Don't, uh... Don't suck. I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. Yep. I'll have to study more from now on. Yep. Oh, okay. That was just a scene of failure. <laughs> just to make you feel bad. With the festival in the midterm, over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. It does smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya! <laughs> What's going on? Is this a sexy... Salutations, Tom. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He... What? He gestures at news clippings in the staff room. It's... It says Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian. Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I. What do you. What... My ears bleeding. Uh. Alright, technical difficulties. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's really just a genius. I look up to him. This one. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try goggling copyright. Brian Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. All right. See, this is an actual thing. I'm goggling this right now. Okay. 
Brian. Hold on. The pigeon. Pigeon. This is an actual pigeon. Let's find out. <laughs> pigeon vlog. Is this what? Is this a real blog? Brian Pigeon is on Twitter. Uh? He's on Reddit. Uh? Life, Death, and Iguanas. Uh? Brian, the blogging pigeon. Uh? This guy's real. Uh, this pigeon is real. Uh, 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 this is a blogging pigeon. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, okay. All right. I'm going to look into this some more, but... Uh-oh. Uh Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Tom. Uh, it's hot to you. Adieu. Huh? <laughs> I better hurry back to class. I thought that said ass. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh. She was about to say every birdie. <laughs> There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Oh, no. Ryota has overturned next to them. No. Who could have overturned these desks? <gasps> Rock doves, underwings, and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? Uh, Oko-san and Sakuya are, are... I look up to these... to see the two of them at each other's throats. Oh, I didn't notice, because they're fucking birds, and this is an adult-sized classroom. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't they all have, like, a little hang-down, like, a... Uh... Yes! That would be so cute! I think we might have a diplomatic incident on... What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Okosan, and then I said, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> but then I tripped. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about... Mongrels are dogs. Imaginary pudding. Oh, shh. You better not be fucking with my boy. And he said he was ashamed to be... Ooh, I That's need to terrible. kill this fucking bird. I mean, Okosan bird. is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Listen, I'll fucking kill a fantail, all right? Either way, Okosan kind of went for the jugular, and, uh... <clears throat> you tried to pull them apart, and Okosan used wing attack on you. <laughs> yeah. You're our only hope now, Tom, with your uh, opposable thumbs and weird human-like strength. This bitch is a bitch right here. I fucking hate this bitch. Go, son! Uh, oh, Okosan, oh, I apologize putting up... Uh, apologize! <laughs> You tell me to take back my word, I shall a not. A mongrel like you has not the right to speak to me. Cool. I'm not a mongrel. You're a mongrel. Am I talking to myself? The battle the battle rages. rages. And it looks, looks like Riona's like... sacrifice was in vain. I should. Okay, sorry. Thought I clicked both. Saki, that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okasan is talking about doesn't mean you can... You are siding with this mongrel rebel? Are you, you supposed oh, to be oh, human? Oh, 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 oh. Okasan Okasan will end this now. Uh, yeah, so... Turns out I forgot to start it, so we're a little bit past this. I don't know how much. Uh, oh. Oh, right. yeah. You want to go until the end of this fight? Sure. He drops low and prepares to strike with all his might. God damn it! Break. I. I'm so glad we're gonna fuck this bird. I like this bird. That's a Gurren Lagann reference. Oh shit! Did it die? Ah. Uh, Okasan crashes into Saki with a spinning body slam. Saki goes flying into the hallway, bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Okasan is a match for any aristocrat. Okasan is missed for the many giants themselves. He puffs out his chest and swags his way to the classroom like a real gangster pigeon. Yeah, yeah, it said that. Wait, class is about to start. You, what are you doing? Are you I was still reading, reading about Brian? <laughs> have you got anything for me? Yeah, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> there, there's a lot here. All right, Okasan, come back. Break is over. <laughs> yeah, I got skills. <laughs> what you gotta do about it? Hmm. Today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. Ooh. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the track. 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 Ugh. Uh. What was 
to the store. I want to see if there's more people in this game. You're going to the store. Alright. <laughs> I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. You know, commerce and whatnot. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. I've never really looked around there before. Oh, wow. There's an end school store. Okay. Pens. You know, for our thumbs. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> They've got all sorts of things for sale. <laughs> Though, these nest building materials look like what you find in a human store's trash. I'll take three! <laughs> uh... <clears throat> My, how mature of you, mon ami? Planning to settle down already? Ooh. Oh, damn hey, it! It's you. me! Yeah. Why the question marks? I know. Oh. N no, that's not it. I I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know, we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. I'm only one year old myself. They, they do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love. Of course. My guy... You. Yuya, that's... we're not... Ah, I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. Perhaps if I took some fucking ecstasy and speed, you'd fucking love me, you whore! <laughs> I thought we had something! Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? No! I thought you were fucking special! Turns out you like... Mm, what do we do? Do we let it slide? Let it slide. Alright. He's got good intentions. It's not like it's surprising coming from him. Why is this pigeon interested? <laughs> Attend. Uh, uh, <laughs> gym class. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Today is calisthenics. Uh, Ryota, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up. How could I possibly do a chin up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a goddamn chin. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I will fucking murder you. <laughs> you make me feel like a failure, and I don't do failure. <laughs> God, his just creepy stare. I really <laughs> need to know what this is about. This That's the date. Oh! 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 It Did all, you not... Oh! Shut up. Wow, we are really flying. Yeah. Today is Super <laughs> <laughs> God, go die in a hole. You know it was uh, March when we started this, right? Are you serious? No, uh, April. It was April when we started this. It's been three months already. Jesus. Today is Son of Babata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. Ah, you're making all this up. These aren't real things. You live in a cave. You have some <laughs> serious mental issues. Well, there's slots here already, Annie Birdie, I know. What's that? What is it? What should I wish for? <gasps> uh, <laughs> I like these two. Uh, I don't want it to be this one. My vote goes for anything but this one. How aggressive are we? Well, we're kind of a psychopath living in a cave. So, I feel like we're at least going to try and fail to do this. Unless we're smart, which I don't think we are. No, we are a psychopath. Yeah. And not like the good kind of psychopath. No, I think we're the kind stupid enough to be the figurehead of our own cult. <laughs> Should we go for the top one? Yeah. Oh, God, you know, I got disowned by my family because I decided to attend a college for birds, but, you know, I decided, whatever. Why do you keep feeding us a different backstory, you lying bitch? <laughs> I just want to fuck birds, okay? Look, 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 look. It's a really convoluted story. I just want to fuck birds, but, oh, man, they said I could never conquer the world by force. Boy, did I prove them wrong eventually, kind of, in my own head. Uh-uh-uh. uh, -uh. uh, -uh, -uh. <laughs> I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fucking fist. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. There's cats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cats enjoy cosmopolitan distribution, and there are natural predators. I'm going to land on your shoulder. Don't pet the cats, please. They're mildly terrifying. I was about to head home. 
Would you like to walk to my place? Would you for like me? me to walk you to your place? No, I said it the right way. <laughs> There's cats everywhere. They're nocturnal. Do you see the moon? Um. <clears throat> Take him home. Hi. Arigato. Hi. Arigato. All right. It's right down the road. Just leave uh, me it, there. Is that is that your wish paper on the tree there? <laughs> the one that says you're gonna rule the world by force? No. Is it? <laughs> Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, <laughs> but we arrived eventually. Your, your house, house is very rustic, huh? Oh wait, that's you. I like it this way. I like it this way. It's not <laughs> rubber anymore. <laughs> I upgraded. It's no longer a box. <laughs> It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Are we gonna fuck this bird um, right now? Sir? Are we gonna fuck this bird right now? See you tomorrow, and don't forget your homework. You can scroll out of the feces in the corner. God, there is two things wrong with all of this. <laughs> don't sleep with your teacher. Don't sleep with birds. Yeah. <laughs> and so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. You know what else is going to be a very hollow-sounding farewell? Next time on OSG! Bye, everyone!